have arrived in Joshua Tree. We decided we didn't need to stay in Quartzsite. There really wasn't anything to do there. And it was just it was crowded. There were a ton of RVs. Um, so we are here in Joshua Tree, staying on some BML land right outside the park. I mean, it's kind of by the highway, but it's nice. We can't complain. It's free. Right? Yeah, not a lot of people. Plenty of room to let the dogs run around. Um, it was a little tricky getting the RV level, but good enough for now. I think so. And our friends, Life Among Pines, are just down that way. So we are going to meet up with them later on this week for a bonfire with some hot dogs and probably some Coronas with lime. Um, we met them on Instagram as well, so that'll be big fun. I'm excited about that. We're going to go take a drive through Joshua Tree. We cannot figure out why Ella chooses to squeeze herself into this tiny nook right here. Look at her paws. That's dangerous, Ella. People are gonna think we're bad puppy parents, but this is how she sits. So she can be super close to Garrett. That's how much she loves him. Joshua Tree has been pretty cool. Um, we're so glad that we stopped to check out all these awesome views, especially the Joshua Tree itself. It's super cool, super wacky looking. Really have enjoyed that. Um, we were parked on uh, Joshua Tree South, uh, next door to Life Among Pines, and we had a blast with them. We had a bonfire, made uh, marshmallows, and Sam made some awesome uh, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets with Chick-fil-A sauce. It was awesome. We've had a blast. So we even uh, we went on a hike with them and ate some awesome Mexican Mexican food, and we've been really enjoying hanging out with them. Um, but we did move to Joshua Tree North because it is a lot closer to the climbing, um, so we can do it after Garrett gets off work. Um, so that is that's going to be worth it for us. Um, we're still going to meet up with like Life Among Pines a couple more times this week, and actually, oddly enough. Um, the more we explore is uh, parked, well, we parked next to them um, on Joshua Tree North. So we actually saw them this afternoon and we're chit-chatting and we're gonna go over there for some pizza tonight. So pretty cool. We're loving the community um, around RVing that um, we've come in contact with. Some really awesome people. It's super cool to hang out with like-minded uh, like-minded couples so uh, we're really enjoying that but today we are going to try some climbing and we're pretty excited about that because Joshua Tree is known for its climbing so should be a good time so I don't know why this keeps happening but every time I go to like make a video I'm chewing gum so sorry <laughs> sorry for everyone out there that hates that I apologize found some climbing routes fairly close to the road so that's exciting I'm gonna try it. Looks pretty easy. It's pretty short, but that's fine. We're trying to get used to the kind of rock uh, that's here. It's really like, I don't know, slabby? Is that the right word? Slabby? Slabby. A lot of friction work, I think. Kinda. Yeah. Should be big fun. So, we both made it to the top because Garrett belayed me from the top. So we practiced that. Yeah, it's a pretty easy route. I just need to practice flying from the top. Yeah. So that is where the top of our climbing route was, but you can just like walk around all over. And so we, we climbed to the top, which are deep. So our little route we did, does not have wrap rings. And wrap rings are these things. And that's what you're supposed to repel off of. So we're gonna grab our rope and repel off this instead. This for fun. It's super cool being up at the top together. Usually it's just one at a time. So that's neat. We're scared of getting our stuff. Repelled. 
Garrett should have videoed me because it's pretty funny because I was so scared. But once I got halfway done, halfway down the wall, I was totally fine. So, it was fun.